Thank you, Chairman Smith and Ranking Member Rogers and to our witnesses. I have the privilege of representing the Western Area Defense Sector, WADS, which is one of the two sectors responsible for peacetime air sovereignty, strategic air defense, and airborne counter drug operations in the continental U.S. under NORAD. As we continue to implement the national security strategy, we must continue to ensure that our homeland assets are a deterrent to our adversaries. I strongly support ensuring that WADS has the resources it needs to continue to defend our homeland. General Van Herc, I'd like to start with you, and I have a few questions, one about WADS and then another about hypersonics detection, if we can get there. One of the innovations that NORAD is working on is Pathfinder, which previously took separate data systems and combined them so NORAD can see a more complete picture. I know that a contract was recently awarded, so can you please tell me how the integration is going if there are any difficulties and why you think Pathfinder is so important to the concept of an all domain awareness. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, ma'am, to talk about Pathfinder. Pathfinder is an innovative uh, capability that we've designed to do exactly what you talked about uh, and working in a partnership to take uh, data and information, which by the way, I think is uh, a strategic value, something that we need to utilize. Pathfinder ingests uh, data from multiple sources and fuses that data and uses machine learning in uh, uh, intelligence capabilities to uh, process and share in real real, real time. But pre previously to uh, Pathfinder, uh, we had 12 manual systems, uh, phone calls, those kinds of things that uh, would take longer uh, minutes, uh, if not longer. Uh, today, when you utilize Pathfinder, it gives us a, a picture in seconds or less and a, a much uh, more broadly uh, a picture to help our air defense sectors accomplish our mission of defending our homeland. Uh, Pathfinder is going great. Uh, the, the Canadians just gave us some uh, additional funding to continue the program, and we look forward to moving that forward. I'll give you an example real quick, and I don't want to steal too much of your time, but Pathfinder uh, was utilized, if you remember, in 2015, the gyrocopter that flew down from uh, north in the National Capital Region here and landed on uh, the Capitol lawn. Uh, when you take uh, all the sensors in the National Capital Region and you look at them separately, none of the sensors uh, detected that uh, gyrocopter. When you take all those sensors, we took the real data, and you take those sensors and you fuse it into Pathfinder into a single system that aggregates that data and assesses it. Sure enough, we were able to see that gyrocopter. That's the value of information and data. Previously, the data was left on the cutting room floor and not analyzed. Pathfinder analyzes it. So thanks for the opportunity to talk about that. Great, thank you. And it just really underscores how we talk a lot about data, but it actually helps us make good decisions. So I want to switch over to hypersonics detection and stay with General Van Herc. As a commander of NORTHCOM and NORAD, what do you see as the most critical gap that must be filled in regard to sensor coverage of the U.S. for advancing Russian and Chinese threats of advanced cruise and hypersonic missiles? And as the Air Force completes their analysis of alternatives of northern approaches, have NORTHCOM and NORAD priorities been accounted for in that final product that we get? Well, I look forward to seeing the, uh, the product as the Air Force uh, completes it. I, I do believe that our equities will be accounted for in the product, but I haven't seen the final product. It's still with the Air Force. A uh, specific uh, domain awareness is what uh, w we need for NORAD and United States Northern Com Command, and that's uh, in my priorities that you'll see in my statement and uh, my priority list that I submitted to the department. Uh, domain awareness to get further uh, out uh, today. Uh, competitors have increased capabilities. Uh, the Russians can actually shoot from over the Russian homeland and strike the, uh, the continental United States. And so we need over the horizon radars and those kinds of capabilities. With specifically with regards to hypersonic capabilities, I remain concerned. We're focused on offensive uh, hypersonic capabilities, and that's crucial to our overarching deterrent. But just as important is our ability to detect, have a, a threat assessment, threat warning, and attack assessment. Uh, for hypersonics coming in, and that's part of our deterrence by denial. And any solution that we come up with for hypersonics should not be just a, a sensor that tells us what's inbound, but it ought to be able to deliver weapons quality information so that we could actually uh, negate that threat from a hypersonic uh, vehicle that may be inbound. And by the way, hypersonics are here today. The Russians have fielded them. That's not something in the future. They're absolutely a threat right here and right now. Right, and very quickly, do you think Canada is doing its part to equity contrib equitably contribute to hypersonics? 
Uh, Canada has, is a wonderful ally and does a great thing specific with uh, the North Warning System and our legacy systems. They've uh, funded about 60% of that uh, over time. Uh, going forward, what we really need to do, uh, ma'am, is uh, create the framework for NORAD modernization. I'm encouraged by the President and the Prime Minister talking about it, uh, but there's uh, much more work to do on what that framework will look uh, like in the future. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr.